How's it going? Happy Wednesday. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> so rigged because the flaming baguette got it. I think that's homophobic by saying that, Zap. Or maybe firephobic. I'm not sure. Anyway, how's it going, everyone? <laughs> Oh, I can I can read it just fine without my glasses. I think I'll still put my glasses on. I've been thinking about uh, getting contact lenses again. So we'll see. Gotta wait for that insurance to kick in in January, though. <laughs> uh, how's it? I, I'm trying to think of what all has been going on. Not much. Still busy at work. I'm hoping it starts freeing up. It will definitely free up next week. Because I'm off for two weeks. So. Um. Yeah. Your, my glasses suit me? I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at myself in the in OBS. <laughs> this is the game we play. Yeah. He goes he goes I for go like he, he goes for six months of glasses and then he decides he doesn't like the way he looks with them, and so he gets contacts, and they give him headaches, and he fights that. It's not headaches, uh, I'm just, all right, so. Uh, or, or they don't, or they don't correct his vision as well. Right. I, it's been both. You're, you're pegging, you're. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> well, it's just a distorted uh, microphone. Well, you don't uh, have to. Well, I, I can't win ever with this microphone. Yeah. It's like, if I don't get close enough, people can't hear me. Uh, and then if I am t too close, then it over overdrives. I was just so. to give you. Uh, no, I'm just saying. Like I, I'm, I know, I know. It's fine. Um, so we're we're back in the contact swing. I, I guess what I say. As always, we can play a game off the arcade machine. Um, does not have to be whatever's on the machine right now, but. Uh, If you want to play one, there's the arcade list. I think it's Defender. Oh yeah, that's right. We went all the way back home. Snow Brothers? But we got Snow... We got Mario Brothers at home. And you want to go out and get Snow Brothers. Why would you do that? All right, Zab, one o one o one o, wants to play Snow Brothers, Snow Brows, <laughs> Snow Brothers in our game mode. Sorry, Neil, if I upset you. I'm not. I'm, I'm. No, it's fine. I just am saying, like, I don't seem to be able to win with this microphone. That's perfect right there. Okay. And Santa hat. All right. Zero. And... I don't even remember testing this. I must have tested it. I always test the games. Oh, yeah, I remember. This is kind of like... Um, oh, my God, that's horrifying. It's kind of like... It, um, it looks like a, a hand puppet. Yeah, it's... Uh, well, the thing in the circle is definitely horrifying. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm at. It's, it reminds me a lot of... Um, what's the one with the vacuums? It reminded me of Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> What's the one where you have vacuums and you suck things up and then you Kirby? Shoot them? It's not Ice Climber. A cursed <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, it did look like it. In fact, oh, yeah, I think it's by the same company. 
Taco Taco, Burrito Burrito, let's make a run for the border. Make a run for the border. Um, now this is gonna bug me, so we're gonna sit here and look at all the games in the arcade machine until I find it. Taco Flavor Kisses. Taco Taco, Taco Burrito. Um. Hey, pass. Hey, pass. Hope you're feeling better. Or hope you don't uh, get too covid -y. Evidently, mild. Evidently not. He feels like ass. You feel like ass. ass With a lot ass, of ass. Ass, 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 ass. Okay. I'm still looking. I'm determined to find this game. It's not one I put on. It's one y'all wanted to put on. Mm, when I had COVID, I felt bad for like four or five days, yeah. I think. And then my fever broke. Tumble pop. Tumble pop is what it reminds me of. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, tumble pop. <laughs> All right. Let me, um, let's, uh, let's try it out. Turn it up a little bit. All right, let's try it. Thanks for the follow. Oh my goodness. Well, I didn't do very good. 11,130. I'm pretty sure I can beat that. But not, I mean, I, it took me the first two lives just to figure out how to play the game. So what was it? 11,130? Yeah, it was pretty, pretty mediocre. You, have, well, you would have walked past it. It says Neil. Yeah. And it's not bad, but it's not good. Yeah, I always, I always get worried about when I go into the barber and they go in to trim my beard. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely a warm up. All right, let's try and see if we can beat it again. All right, here we go.
Well, somehow I beat it. I'm not sure how I beat it. <laughs> 28, 420. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I think, well, it was those little bonuses at the end of it. So. Ah. Process of finding a new barber, huh? Yeah, we've had one. Neil found a barber, like, years ago, and we've just keep going back. And, you know, he's moved from salon to salon, and we keep moving with him. So. But, I mean, Neil doesn't really... I mean, he gets his beard trimmed, but it's just like... What do you just, what do you tell him? Just a one or a two? <laughs> Knock it down to a number two. A two, yeah. And he... And he trims around the edge but like it yeah that's not a lot very lot yeah because it, it grows pretty well to where i normally keep it and for me i just kind of get it shaped cleaned up a little bit all right shall we try it again let's do it zab I mean, if you're going to put a job ad up and say it's remote, don't put in the damn ad that you have to show up somewhere on site. That's hybrid. Shall we try it again? I, I am getting the hang of it. I am getting the hang of it. All right, let's try it one more time.
Yeah, I was I was getting better at it. I was gonna I think the, the key is to get to the top. Free someone at the top and then just like shoot it down. I think that's definitely like the key. Yeah, sure, Sam. Let me update the high score real quick. And uh Yeah, thanks for suggesting it. So where did you where did you find this game? You're always on the search for new games. Talked about unique and obscure arcade games. I think you've talked about that before. The list has gotten quite long. There it is, Snow Brothers. All right, 28, 420. Lab 101010. 12, 20, 2023. I'm going to have to get used to 2024 here pretty soon. Update. Go for it. There we go. All right. Uh, I know. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it's almost 2024. It's it's starting to make uh 2020 just I mean it just like anything in the 20 teens seem really far away like you know oh shit 2018 was five years ago it's like what so <laughs> all right we are going to teleport back to oh, no not the long summers Oh, crap. <laughs> Does that hurt us in any way, or is it just funny? doing this to me. <laughs> hey, Doc Frost! Does he pickles to you, too? Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Goodness. I just want to find a place. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Well, I, just, I just killed it for one experience point. It was a mangy old mutt. It was a dog. Oh, wait. Or was there something else? My, um... My connector for the... Uh, teleprompter comes tomorrow, so maybe I'll get the camera a little bit closer starting tomorrow or when Friday's stream we'll see I'm worried that it's not gonna work out but we'll see not goods teleport hmm 
No. Oh, we definitely didn't want to come back here. Although I guess we could. I guess I don't, but we don't have the bubble gum anymore. I think we stored it. We could we could call it call it in though. Yeah. <laughs> I decided midnight last night was the best time and so wait. All the white smoke stayed in the electronics, so that's good. Oh, I see what you're saying. It didn't, none of it, none of the white smoke came out of it, so that's good. I get it now. Summers. <laughs> That's true. I didn't, I did not know that. All that white smoke trapped in there. I think there was, let's see, that's the hospital. One of these places had a phone. Across the sea, there's a town called Skeraba. It's a mysterious town. It's my dream town. Well, that's what we're trying to get to. I'm a grave robber. I was scared of the pyramid in Skeraba. So I didn't go in, but I tell people that I saw mummy-type monsters with my very own eyes. Maybe it's... Yeah. Talk to that dude. Maybe it was like... That's where we want to go. Yeah, that's not it. Ah, maybe it's back here. I mean, any normal person would feel that way. That's true, but we're no normal kids. Oh, there it is. It, says, it just says shop. Gonna use. Uh... Oh, he deposited $3. I guess we really haven't done anything, so. Okay. The attack ships that pass through. Are you scared? Wait, you're not the right person to talk to? It's this guy. If you're yeah, I just talked to all the cute bearded characters. If you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the Kraken and experience getting seasick. After all, it could only cost you your life, and you got that for free. Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. So do you want to sail the seas of the Scaraba? Er. This is kind of what we did uh, when we ended on Monday. And the Kraken killed us. So we're hoping for better... betterness this time. Otherwise, we might need to... I don't know, level up or something.
Wait, wait, wait! I need to stop the boat. It's been a long time since I was out on the open sea, so I feel seasick. Oh man, what am I gonna do? A sailor who gets seasick? Blech. So how come you guys are all right? So, that bald guy over there, your buddy, right? He came from Delam. Uh, or Delam. You guys must be quite the adventurers. Aren't there times when you just like to go back home? So you're not some mama's boy. Well, it wouldn't hurt if you go back and visit once in a while. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away. I did. I went back and visited. That's what we did. Apparently that didn't help. Oh no, it's getting dark. Oh no, here comes the Kraken! Here, here it comes! All right, let's do this. Actually, Neil, you have like... Doesn't. No. <laughs> You don't want it on Snow Brothers anymore? <laughs> Neil, Neil's not a fan of Snow Brothers, apparently. <laughs> uh, we, we just hit a Sonic the Hedgehog. I think I had. I guess I don't have like a anything. <laughs> yeah, it's the cr it's the kraken. Sorry, I just didn't want to look at that anymore. <laughs> it was that bad, huh? It was not pleasant. I got a spy on the kraken. And then he's going to. Do I have anything? No. Then he's going to try and freeze it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I'm not going to get it in time. Yeah. Oh, and Pooh died too. This is not good. Oh, well, wait. So, can we life noodle? Oh, shit. Now I'm dead. Thank <laughs> you. 
too. That's how you do it. <laughs> do you see how the my my life got down to one, and I recovered that shit. <laughs> And and then I get all the experience points. Seventy nine thousand two sixty seven. <laughs> I think it wasn't it you, Kai, that was like, you gotta look at that like countdown thing, which you don't really understand at the beginning because you don't have that many hit points and it counts down so fast. Yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> I went up two levels. Everyone's dead. Oh, man. I thought you guys were just everyday little kids. <laughs> it is a legit mechanic. It, exactly. It is a legit command mechanic. But you defeated the Kraken. I also helped in the battle. <laughs> what? I threw my slippers at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice. We did not notice. Well, hopefully there's a hospital at this new place and we'll be able to... Well, we can always teleport back to once we get there. He didn't say anything about like the kid and, and uh, three ghosts. Did you come from Toto by ship? There's a scary monster in the sea. Did you beat him or did you escape? Either way, you are fantastic. I know. There's a hotel. There is a hospital. We're right in front of it. Well, I'm just barely going to have enough money to recover them. <laughs> yep, more heat stroke. It's amazing that they died by the hands of the Kraken, but they still took their bodies to the hospital here where we were going. I do know I have it. <laughs> hey, Stone Grinder. Yeah, I know I have it. I know I have it. <laughs> okay, this is this is sketch. This is a sketch hospital. Very sketch. <laughs> no, I don't want any mummy bandages. No soliciting allowed, please. We weren't selling you anything. This dude. The Tinda tribe used to live here. They went to the back of the deep darkness as they were too innocent. I wonder if they are still alive. I've never seen you around here. What do you want? I do not have anything you would want. Okay. There you go. Oh, this is like a little bazaar. Hey, Tall Ale, how's it going? Oh, thank you. I don't know why they're doing that. I did pass. I beat the Kraken. Are you impressed? Welcome, welcome. Ach, the heat. Is your body okay? Can I interest you in some of my merchandise? That's a vial of serum.
has a small chance to drop Ness's best weapon. Oh yeah, he didn't drop anything. <laughs> so, anytime you don't buy anything, they they get uh uh mean. Alright, this guy looks like he knows what to do. The snake bag can hold live snakes. There are snakes in the sack. Please, it is very useful item. Shall you buy one? I am humbly offering it to you. No. <laughs> Would you like some seasonings to add to your foods? No. Oh, they're not that bad, though. Let's get, uh... Shit. We'll get a ketchup packet. Neil will take the ketchup packet. <laughs> Alright, thanks for lurk, Kai. I bought a piggy nose. This will help out a large amount. I am humbly searching for the magic truffle in the deep darkness. You too can learn how to use a piggy nose with the use command under goods. So please rest easy. Okay. If you've already got what you need, great. But if you don't, well, that would be a real shame. Take a look at my menu and decide. Is there anything you would might want? Ooh. Crystal charm. Oh, should we get a piggy nose? <laughs> Talking about a sea cat? <laughs> hey, RK Bear. How's it going? All right. Yeah, okay, that's the guy about the piggy nose. We need to get a, um... Did that guy have an ATM machine? <laughs> he doesn't have an ATM machine. Is there a... Are there, are there such things as ATM machines in this place? A lot of innocents died that night. Maybe the hotel has an ATM machine. Yay, it does. Uh, let's take 3,000. Kids walking around with $3,000 worth of, worth of cash. This one? No, 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 no. This one. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts when Sora finally snaps. <laughs> It went up by one.
Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just enough to put her over that edge. She had 100 defense. She's going to die every time. So The Rolling Stones in Denver. Nice. Third row, center stage. Holy shit. $5,300. Holy crap. Well, I assume you didn't buy the $5,300 seat. We thought our tickets to Elton John were cl were expensive, and we weren't near the front, the stage. <laughs> uh, we'll have... Oh, I forget we have poo, too. this guy have? Welcome to my humble shop. How about some of our famous Scaraba delicacies? Okay. Yeah. It's okay. All the vendor Yeah, <laughs> it's all the vendor fees. I see. Yeah, I figured you didn't pay that much. I wouldn't even pay that much. I was thinking, I think the stones are coming. I don't think they're coming to Orlando. Maybe they are. I don't remember now. Okay. I guess we want to go out to the pyramids. I don't, I don't remember why we came here. If you're going to the pyramid, prepare well and be ready for whatever may occur. I guess let's go stay at the hotel real quick. Ah. Ah, yeah. It's okay. Let us know if you find any scorpions. Oh, great. Wait, did we just sleep right here? Just don't talk too loud. Oh, he's got... All right, let's get the big bottle rocket. Yeah, let's, let's be sensitive. All right, let's save. Dad's always coming with the big bucks. Um, no. We have not. Why can't I hit A? stage yeah i sell water for those who are thirsty it's expensive though the lux water <laughs> i 
Are you ready for fuzzy pickles? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera and say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles! <laughs> Sounds naughty. <laughs> hey, I didn't come up with that. All right, so this, oh, there's switches. I didn't realize Pooh was about to, to die. I mean, we're having the same problem with Pooh as we had with others before him. I see. Have a good one. Oh, good night, Stone Grinder. Are you leaving, Stone Grinder? All right. Have a good. Have a good one, Stone Grinder. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Until he gets some offense. Okay. I, I forget. Uh, well, look. Who is d starting to level up now? Because he didn't die. Good night, Stone Grinder. <laughs> hmm. What's in Pooh's inventory? A ruby, a jar of deli sauce, some water, some rice. Not corn. Hmm. 
wish there was some clue. Oh, it opened. Or oh, wait, maybe that was just because we were backing. Yeah. That's what I think it is. I think it's a, it's a, there's a pattern. Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was about to go back to town and see if I could find someone. I was thinking the same thing. No, I thought that was cool. I have not used one of those hints, but I thought that was a neat idea. Oh, I didn't realize I got... No, 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 no. I got Gamma Fire. Or Delta Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Who is leveling up, uh... Who is leveling up with each thing? Well, I figure since he's like a scorpion, he probably doesn't like the cold. And so that's why I was thinking freeze. I'm using I'm using uh I'm using uh Pokemon logic. Yeah, I, I thought um what was it? Uh Link's Awakening had that, and I thought that was a cool idea. Alright. Have we who have we not talked to? Go back into the hotel. I feel like we talked to everybody. I don't think we talked to this person. Wait, we talked to that person. He tried to sell us shit. The Great Mighty Poo. <laughs> I am the Great Mighty Poo. I don't think we've gone back here. We went there. Oh, look at this. What's this guy? I'm doing this as a hobby. Isn't it cool? I recently made a friend. He used to be a dungeon maker. And now he's a dungeon man. Oh, yeah. I remember dungeon maker. Would you like to meet him? Yeah. All right, then. I'll give you the key so that you can enter, enter him. Oh, no. I don't have it. Oh, my. I must have lost it somewhere. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't worry about small things. Okay. All right. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh, be careful where you walk. It's filthy. A chubby kid did his business out here somewhere. <laughs> hey, hey, Ryan, thank you. Thirty-three months. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Murray. Catching up with your age. Okay, I feel like we've talked to everybody. You shall come back here after you have encountered a dangerous situation. However, I may be wrong, and if so, a thousand pardons. All right. Okay, we already talked to this guy. Hmm. 
play with this guy again. If you're going to the pyramids, prepare well and be ready for whatever may occur. Thanks. He did not help. the hospital. I think we talked to this person. Yeah. I'm so thinking I'm selling stuff. Talk to that guy. Talk to that guy. Maybe there's more someone out. Not. There's a lot of space out here. Somewhere. Oh, <laughs> there's the hint guy. All right, hold on, hint guy. One of us has heat stroke. how the door opens when you do a <laughs> you love one hmm. Standard thinking uh, emote for for Twitch. Oh, Pooh didn't level up. Day Fry stumped. I guess we'll go talk to the hit guy. Use the hint guy yet, so I don't even know if, like, is it just gonna be a shitty hint? Okay. Those poo! It's a female UFO. It's a beautiful UFO. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> hey, Rico, my, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. The enemy left a present. It's poo. <laughs> Royal iced tea. Brain shock. Hey, Silent Snake. Yeah, well, we're going to get a um, $100. Sure. Did you go to the second floor of the Scaraba? Cultural Museum in Summers. We did not. If you're lucky, you'll get to see the hieroglyph. Yeah, you sure would be lucky. That's it for today. Okay. Okay. I, did, I didn't realize that that was a museum for this place. All right, have a good one, Murray. It's funny the first time it happens and then you're like, oh my god. What? What happened? Oh, come on. I didn't realize he has healing too. Brain shock. I don't even know what brain shock is. Oh, seven. Fire does not do anything to these guys. Out of this world. <laughs> boo. Are you booing uh playing back app? <laughs> uh oh, someone has heat struck. I have gone shopping with my Santa hat on. <laughs> I have not, I have not, uh, I have not, you know, not with a notepad and crossing people's names off lists and stuff like that. I can get back here, right? Yeah, there it is.
I guess I need to go back to the town. Actually, we may go back to the town just so that we can heal up. Because if we go to Summers and heal up, it's going to cost us a lot of money. <laughs> What's your name again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna go to the city. Go to the hotel. Our super deluxe suite. <laughs> hey, Snowy the Ice Bear. All right. What's this guy? Kraken the Evil Sea Monster, now gone forever. Well, there's some news. <laughs> Hey, I defeated him. Why don't they say, and J Fries defeated the Kraken? All right, we need like a stretch that's big enough. Just to, all right, here, let's do it right here. long enough. Can't do it right here. Okay, we're gonna do it right here. Like I said, this was cute the first time. And now it's just annoying. Oh my god! Oh, that's tr Oh, you don't. Oh. oh. I thought you did. I always thought you did. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Here, this this stretch looks looks big enough here, maybe. What did we hit? I think we hit like a tree or something like that. Oh, oh you can make a sharp left or right turn while you tumble? Oh, I did not know that. work why can't I do it here I, I swear it seems like it's getting longer So what you're saying is okay, 
All right, I see. Okay. Welcome to J Fry's Tries to Teleport. Oh, does he? Let's take a look. Thanks, Arcade Bear. All right, let's go. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so teleport beta is a little bit better. I swear we looked at everything in the museum, but maybe we didn't. Oh, that's right. We gotta... We already paid. Already paid. You know what? Maybe we didn't go to the second floor. This room is being remodeled. Oh yeah, no, we did. I can't show it to you. Oh, the samurai kid is here. Will he be giving me that gem? Oh. Ugh. That's why he needed the gem. Oh, are we getting attacked? Wait a second. We're getting attacked by mummies. It's the shattered man. I would assume he's susceptible to fire. Three. <laughs> he does look like Colonel Sanders. Wow, he does look like Colonel Sanders. He totally does. Maybe it's the mummy of Colonel Sanders. Never thought of that. <laughs> A mummy wrap. <laughs> if 
used as a whip during a battle, the enemy will take some damage and stop moving for a while. Boo. <laughs> Here, she's gonna use the mummy wrap. Oh, it it actually it actually did a lot of damage to the <laughs> to Colonel Sanders. Holy crap. We just crushed him. Another mummy wrap. Excellent. Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gym. <laughs> the other day, a rich kid came in summers to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hierogly hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. <laughs> who read the hieroglyphs? Who, who, who read it? <laughs> To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark and is even farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything. Wait for the coming of a truly brave hero. Oh. Okay. We got it here. Let me ask you a screenshot. I can take a screenshot in OBS. I think I know what that means. There, I took a screenshot. Put it over there. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Okay. Jay Fry, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. All right. I think you're right. Let's go. What? Oh. Wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. Your human, use it in your human civilization class. <laughs> All right. I guess so we could reference it if we needed to. We didn't have screenshot technology back in the 90s. <laughs> uh like the second where it's completely missing. Oh, okay. So should I should I go to the fifth sanctuary then? Hello? Is this Mr. Fork of the Scaraba Cultural Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon, from the Foreside Museum of Natural History. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not... <laughs> Fork and Spoon. I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. Click beep. All right. Do we need to go to Foreside? <laughs> You're like... Yes. Okay, what we need to do though is let's go back in. Yeah, it's called Dad. Twelve thousand. Dad coming through with the bank. Because we're gonna play some Fry's Quest. Yeah, just a casual forty-six thousand dollars. Thanks, Dad. God. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Whoa. Welcome to Neil's <laughs> Deals. Where else you gonna I'm ready. go? Let's go. Let's Arcade go. Bear is okay. in. <laughs> and he's got the timer going quickly, so. There we go. Here comes Book Slap. Shipwreck. And if you played last game, you can come on in now. My potions with 25% less lead. Today is a good day to fry. Ready for action. Today is a good day to fry. Ready for action. Those monsters stole me lucky charms. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Shops closed. Here we go. Fun counting sheep. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese ready to order? <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. See you in a second. Welcome to Neil's Deals. Where else you gonna go? Ready for action. Ready for action. Those monsters stole me lucky charms. Today is a good ready for battle. battle. 
I'm ready. Let's go. This store reeks of capitalism. Now let me know if you die. Uh, I can sell that again. Ready for battle. Good luck. You'll certainly need it. Welcome everybody. How's it going? Thanks, Chuckleton. How how was your how was your stream? How did it go? What are you up to? Hellblade. It's the Nua's sacrifice. <laughs> how was Hellblade? I've never played Hellblade. 
I'm now going to look up Hellblade. Why have I not seen these? Are they Xbox exclusive? It looks like they're... <laughs> yeah. Super fun. Well, that's cool. Is it kind of like an action game? It looks kind of like an action game. Rock Rhythm Doom Game. <laughs> wow. It says... An action adventure game. Developed by Ninja Theory. Playing as an MC going through a linear story fighting for your life. Okay, okay. Cool. Andy Serkis served as the dramatic director for Heavenly Sword. Okay. I'm looking at the company, Ninja Theory. Well, welcome everybody. I'm Jay Fries. Uh, we're per currently, we were just in the middle of a break. During breaks, we play a game that I wrote called Rise Quest. Up to eight players. It's currently full, uh, but eight people from chat can play, level up, and do stuff like that. And so, yeah, people are healing and purchasing stuff. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's been evolving. We've Ready been playing it for action. about a year now. I, I started it in August of 2022, and then we first started playing it in October of 2022, and it looked a lot different than it does now, and we've been slowly building on it over time. Oh, we got no ported to the Switch. No exchanges. installment plan as if you're gonna live that long so my my husband did the voice for the the neil's deals so i can look those monsters stole me lucky charms it says it's just windows and windows series x Well, cool. Thanks, thanks again for the raid. When, when we're done with this, we'll do a clip from your channel. I hope you're doing well. Hope your week's been going okay. Metal Hell Singer. Time's oh, up. okay. Have fun watching the floor. Performance of uh, yeah. Well, it, it, it is. Well, is the Switch doing the kind of the streaming games and stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, by streaming, I mean cloud gaming. Where it is streaming to your Switch. <laughs> I would think that would be, you would have to be on Wi-Fi for that or have good Wi-Fi for that. And I was always, I've always been like, that would be good for single player games, but multiplayer games, cloud gaming would be terrible. The latency would kill you unless you literally had no latency. Which I don't see how you could get no latency on, on, on the internet. <laughs> hey, Kaizu. 
How are you doing? For most of the US, yeah. Oh, that's true, it did, didn't it? The OLED has Ethernet. Oh, okay. It's a switch, yeah. Yeah, I think, um... Yeah, I had a job interview. Nice. Cool. Well, good luck. I'm doing okay. Doing okay. L looking forward to some time off. I get two weeks off starting, I guess, Saturday. So, looking forward to that. I get the rest of my life off. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're gonna... Neil Neil becomes unemployed in a, in a week, I think, right? No, well, week and a half. Minus... Christmas. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks again, Chuckleton, for the raid. And uh, and I understand. Um, we'll play a clip and when when this is done. And good job, adventurers, for killing the iron golems first. And no one died. Oh, it's another raid! Bowling Bear! Welcome, everybody! Come on in! How's it going? We just got a double raid. What were you up to, Bowling Bear? Harvest. Harvestella? Why are y'all put Y'all. There's two games I have not. Okay, okay, okay. It's a life sim, okay, by published by Square Enix. Squeenix as we call it here. Cool. Farming sim, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. Well thank you again so much for the raid. Welcome everybody. Yeah, Chuck we just got a raid from Chuckleton. But they're modern games. That's that's a good point, Flaming Baguette. <laughs> good point. That's a good point. Is it a retro game? No. Well, I don't play. Both of those are kind of genres I don't play. So, welcome everybody. I'm a retro streamer. <laughs> We're playing Earthbound. We're playing Mario next. So, yeah. There you go. Oh, cool. Final Fantasy IV. I will be playing. Eventually, be playing Final Fantasy IV. I played. I played the first one on, uh, this is my husband's NES, and so we got the original cartridge, and we're playing the original cartridge. Uh, Mario 2 is next. Uh, we're going to be playing it on uh, the Super Nintendo, so we're going to be playing it on Super Mario All-Stars, which is um, what we did the first one. Um, yeah, here's, here's my current stack. Uh, uh, we got Pokemon X... And we've got the last story, and we've got Jedi Survivor. <laughs> Evil Bud with the Fry Win. <laughs> so first game you beat all by yourself. Nice. Well, mine was Ultima, Ultima Four, which is also an RPG, and uh, I, I really, uh, oops, I meant to go to talking. So you can see me. I have a new teleprompter, so my camera's much further than it used to be. I'm hoping to get that fixed by next stream. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of Final Fantasy games to play. That's what, that until I played the first one, I was like, I, I've never played a Final Fantasy game. Although I guess do Kingdom Hearts kind of count as Final Fantasy games because there's Final Fantasy characters in them. So, Breath of Fire. No, I haven't played that. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 do count? Okay. <laughs> Adjacent, right. It's like a side quest in the Final Fantasy realm. Skip 11 and 14. Is that, well, are they the online ones? I, I definitely won't be playing the online ones. So, hey, Senior Pollo, how's it going? 
All right. Well, thanks. Thanks again, Bolin Bear, uh, for the raid. Everyone should go give him a follow. Um, let's play a few clips. Let's play first. Let's, we're going to play a clip from Chuckleton, and y'all should go give him a follow, too. And here's Hellblade. Guess, <clears throat> guess and go up the stairs. That's usually how I walk around. Is it like some sort of like... Can't see and then... And they're sensing? Yeah, I was about to say, this bitch gonna fall. <laughs> Playing through Baldur's Gate 3. Nice. Oh, she hasn't been able to... Unable to break free from its hold for months. <laughs> Complete darkness. And you're using senses. Okay. that's That kind of was what it was looking like. It's like you're sensing. Kind of like, um, we did... I did play, um... The Last of Us 1 and 2, and yeah, it has kind of a, a sensory, but you're listening type of thing, which is kind of cool. You got burned out mid-bloodstorm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't going to play any of the MMO Final Fantasies. Yeah. All right, and let's do a shout-out, or play a clip. From Bolin Bear, and y'all should go give him a follow. What is this? Old school RuneScape. This definitely does look old school. What is going on? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> did, did, did you kill it? <laughs> Hey, it's over. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love playing clips from from people's streams. Can we do a stream where we just do play clips from other people's streams at random and react to them? I don't know. I don't think that a whole stream of that may not be all that great. Took you 300 kills? Oh my goodness. The only time I've had anything like that was when I played um, Castlevania 64. And the final boss, it, it was really difficult. And so I just had to get, it was like a kind of a get good situation where you were just fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting until you you got good and you could beat him like almost in in one, you know, perfectly basically it had three phases and basically you had to get the first and second phase perfect and then you could get through the third phase oh so hard well welcome everybody we're playing earthbound we're we were about to go we got a um a call to go to another uh museum and so that's where we were about to go Uh, that was in Foreside? I'm pretty sure it was Foreside. Yeah. Whee! But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, if you haven't played Earthbound, I definitely suggest it. It's on Switch Online. And uh, definitely worth a play. <laughs> Uh-oh. Pass is getting, the, is getting bitten by uh, Final Fantasy... Uh, <laughs> the vibe. All right, where was that? That museum was like over here. Well, I could just look at the. Ah, see where it's at. Maybe. How was? What were you playing? Armored Core or something like that? How did Armored Core go? Yeah. Yeah, this has been really fun. An MMO content. Just for the story and then stop. Yeah, you could just not do all the extra stuff. Is it worth it just to play for the... Play that? Oh my 
God. All right, Mr. Fork called me. I doubt he's, I bet you he's like upstairs. Oh. You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the uh, Tapola Theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, thanks, Effector for of Change. Welcome. Last two expansions alone. Okay. Very stuck in old school MMO. Well, I, I don't mind old old school MMO concepts. Okay. I'll consider it. I did not put them on my list. Oh, we do. Okay. Well, we 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 helped the whatever. Man, this really teaches kids money. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, don't forget, life is money. I've lived all that. You can buy everything but love, friendship, and experience points. <laughs> oh, that's cool, book slap. I didn't know that. Oh, here it comes. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow, you cute, sexy thing, you. Game gets horny. <laughs> Baby, sing to me. Sing to me only. Baby Venus. Just sing and I can die a happy man, baby. I want to hold you tight, Venus, baby. Boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, Venus. Sob, sob. Okay. I gotta turn it up. If you walk into a porno. <laughs> He's all sparkly like my beard. Uh-oh, what's this guy? Please sit down, sir. Is this a strip club? Love it. <laughs> She's so sexy. The men just running up on the stage. The bouncers had to, you know, tackle the guy. All 
right. Turn back down. <laughs> oh yeah, the Runaway Five. Quite different. Ah, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you in her. Oh, should I have gotten my pencil eraser for her to sign? Oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. <laughs> I, guess, I guess not. I got, uh, Paula got the signed banana. Oh, and this is a bonus. Smack! I assume that was a kiss, not a schmack. All right. I'm just, I'm searching all her lockers. Looks like you aren't too busy. Maybe make yourself at home for a while. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll take the banana back to the guy. So she signed the banana. Yeah. <laughs> back to the dinosaur museum. Oh my God, is she gonna make me pay again? <laughs> the 90s were a weird time. <laughs> hmm. You know, there's a new singer. Okay. Okay, well, we have... God, I didn't mean that. Got it! That banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph. Yep, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise. I'll tell you something extraordinary. In the next room, there's a light shining from a far, far below the manhole. Wait, light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge monster rat. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out yourself. Okay. I <laughs> know uh, that was in this one. Yeah. Oh, great. We just got attacked by a flea. Oh, roaches. Kill them with fire. Freeze them. Holy shit! It's not really backseating, you may offer a hint. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Should I go back and heal? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Croissant in the trash. Gold. 
a broken cannon. Neil can repair broken items when they're in his inventory and you sleep. Yeah. Do not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've, uh, he's bro he's made a, a broken pipe and, and yeah, we've, I've, I've discovered that he can do that. Oh, is it the broken iron? Ah. using the repaired item. It's not the iron. I got poisoned. Or I think poisoned is beta. gonna make me go through the sewer, isn't it? Eleven damage to J Fry. Hmm. I'll use that. I guess I should attack the rat. I was so low. Shit. I thought he was dying. So I will not go as fast as I was trying to do. <laughs> oh, that's right. He doesn't have enough PP. Uh... His guts saved him. Yeah, that's what I figured. Pooh is definitely leveling up here. I think what we need to do here is... Uh, is actually go heal. So we're going to go back up since we're right at the beginning.
That's right. Well, that sucks. No PP. hurting me all right there we go you won Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe it's none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. Ah, oh, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Click beep. All right. <laughs> That's so reasonable. Let's go. Come back. Oh great, we're gonna have to pay more to get into the into the museum. Thanks to that lady. It is. I know, capitalism. And it's a museum. You should wanna pay money at a museum. Because they don't make any money. This hotel's gonna rob us. Uh, 300's not too bad. Slime generator. I do call my mom. I went and visited my mom. So. Items for Neil. Sprays a sticky substance that stops the enemy from moving. Can be used many times. There you go. You can see I am not homesick. You never see, I call her, but she never seems to be that interested in what I'm doing. Like last time I called her, she was like, uh, I gotta go, my soaps are on. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, here, we'll call mom. Jay Fry? Don't say a word. I know exactly what you're thinking. My son, who'd have thought he was such a brave kid. Oh, yeah. You're a hero, honey. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
Okay, dad, come in with bank. <laughs> when you're homesick. Okay, when your status says homesick. Yeah, 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 dad. I still need the trout yogurt? It sounds terrible. Well, I guess the trout yogurt can be eaten. healing item okay okay uh, I was thinking let's give Paula has like the big bottle rocket and I usually give those to Neil Back to the the sewer in the dinosaur museum. Get rid of the HP sucker. It never he steals much. Uh, okay. I'll just I'll just use it. Oh fuck. Thanks for following. Hey! Welcome! It's a raid! Welcome! There it goes. I was like, where did my, my raid thing didn't go off? <laughs> hey, DJ Cam! How's it going? <laughs> Thanks, Neil. It is me. It is me, Santa. <laughs> You're playing Grand Theft Auto V. Cool. You know, I did add, I, I didn't tell anyone, but I added Grand Theft Auto to my list of games, starting with Grand Theft Auto, the first one. And I have and I have played Grand, Grand Theft Auto V, but I haven't played it in, well, I played it on the Xbox 360. And I can't believe we were, we were in the Target last night and we saw Grand Theft Auto V on, uh, um, on the PS5. <laughs> so, did they up it at all? So, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? How did it go? The North Pole is great. <laughs> Let's be frank. <laughs> I'm so busy working on all the, uh, the presents to put under the tree. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to play a we're going to play a clip too. Jealous. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um so yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'm Jay Fries. I play a lot of retro variety. Uh we're playing Earthbound. We're playing this one on the Switch because it's so expensive. If you try to go buy this cartridge, it's around three fifty to four hundred dollars. So, um, I guess it wasn't. That's the problem with this game. Was so popular. It was not popular when it came out, and so they didn't make a lot of them. And so now it's like a cult classic, and people really want to play it. 
and 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 yeah and so there's not that many cartridges where like final fantasy on the nes was like 10 bucks and you would think well final fantasy it's such a you know it's the beginning of a huge series why wouldn't it be very valuable it's because they it was very popular when it came out and it there's a ton of cartridges out there but um but yeah i play a lot of uh, retro variety we're playing uh coming up we have super mario 2 uh, we have pokemon x i had never played pokemon until recently uh the last story on the wii and oh this this <laughs> This will be kind of the the newest game I've ever played, Jedi Survivor. That's not true. I played Metroid Dread when it came out. So, <clears throat> so I try to play games on on original hardware, but this one, yeah, in, too expensive, too expensive. <clears throat> and I'm hoping my PS5 fits in right here. Really low production runs. Ah. All right, let me let me play a clip real quick. Thank you so much for the raid, DJ. Well, and here's Grand Theft Auto Five. You beat his ass, or he was beating your ass. I'll tell everybody he was beating my ass. <laughs> I don't care. One time, one time, my mommy had had the mailman came over and he beat my ass too. <laughs> and for some reason, at, at my mommy's house, he he came twice in one day. Yeah, like he, 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 like, like mommy said, mommy said to him, was like, hey, I'll, I'll help you in that, uh, you know, I'll help you in the bedroom with the package. And it must have been a pretty big package, because she was like, you know, she, it sounded like she was struggling in there with that big package. Oh, wow. Yeah, she was like really loud. She was louder than me. And I'm really loud. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, and sometimes when I have like a toothache, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna keep going. That's a good clip. That's a good clip. Well, everyone from my stream should go give DJ Cam a follow. <laughs> well, welcome everybody. We just got attacked by some deadly mice. You're welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. So we are we are attacking some deadly mice. Let's uh let's try and catch these mice on fire. <laughs> They're deadly. Hey Lemon Square. Deadly. They probably well they will poison you if they bite you. So we're gonna try not to get bitten by them. All right, we, we tamed one of them. So they don't, it's like Pokemon, they don't die. Holy crap, 199 damage. Gotta heal poo. Not recover. Hurry. Hurry. Oh, he got, he had one. <laughs> Thanks for following. <laughs> On your, okay. Cool. <laughs> and alcohol, too. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. So Pooh Poo lived. And so we need to heal Pooh. All right. Oh, great. Now we're getting attacked by trash cans. Actually, they're stinky ghosts. Cause they, I guess they live in trash cans. <laughs> it's 
stinky ghost best ghost? I don't know about that. Maybe they'll drop croissants. Maybe. I didn't see, uh, whoops. I didn't see if, uh, fire was any good. That's pretty good. Neil's not doing any damage. Ow, another, another raid. Wow, it's just the night of raids. You won. The winner is you. Welcome, Happy! How are you doing? How was your stream? I have a feeling you were playing... You were playing Fortnite! <laughs> that isn't what I was going to guess. I was going to guess Last of Us Part 2. <laughs> wow, and Soggy Envelopes, too! A double raid! We have had a lot of love tonight. A lot of love. Thank you so much, Soggy Envelopes. And Identify as Happy. What was Soggy Envelopes up? Pikmin 4. That is also on my list. We will, we will get picked back up Pikmin eventually. You were playing Lego Fortnite. Nice. Yeah. I don't think they did. Oh, thank you, DJ Cam. <laughs> Thanks, Soggy Envelopes. Thank you so much for the raid. You're almost done with it finally. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's been, it's been, um, I've been really, if y'all haven't, if any, if y'all, I mean, I feel like I'm the only one who's never played Earthbound. Cause I, <laughs> I had no idea. I did. I, you know what? It's funny. Cause I knew, um, I knew the character was in Smash Brothers. I did play Smash Brothers. Um, you also have never played it. It's really fun. It's very cute. It's very cute. It's funny that I would have played um, Undertale before I played Earthbound because Undertale is so much influenced. The humor is so much influenced by Earthbound. So, but thank you. Thank you both for the raid. Identify as happy and soggy envelopes. Thank you so much. Um, let's play. We're going to play some more clips. We've been playing a lot of clips tonight. I think this is like the fifth raid. Thank you all so much. Thanks for all the love. All right, let me uh, hit that button there and bring up some clips. All right. Yeah, if you so Identify as Happy came in and raided me. Uh, I just raided him a few a few days ago. I don't remember. <laughs> but he's very much a uh, Last of Us Part 2 streamer, so uh, tries to do speed runs and stuff like that. Thanks for the lurk, DJ. Thanks for the raid. All right. Oh, and Muppet Christmas music too. All right, let's see this clip. Got it. Get your prep, y'all. Prep. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that was. I guess that was a, a um, a gay, <laughs> a gay service announcement. You should take your prep. If you're not on prep, you should get on it. <laughs> I <laughs> did. Terrible Lotus, you're the one that clipped that. That's awesome. Uh, soggy envelopes. There we go. All right, let's watch a clip from Soggy Envelopes. Oh, it's another. Oh, we. I think we played this last time you raided. And chocolate chips, uh, very good. Oh yeah. Very good. Because I remember us saying we have those racks. We have those cookie racks. Neil, uh, Neil made peanut butter cookies, uh, like a few streams ago and they, and they were good and they're all gone. Oh, we were mailing them to my parents and my sister. And then my sister messaged me today that, oh no, the dogs got into the cookies and ate half of them. And I was like, why are you texting us that? We would have been blissfully unaware that we just fed your dogs these cookies that Neil baked spent hours baking just make us just don't tell us that just say mm, these cookies are great <laughs> you made it a feature club yeah i don't know if 
I use um, Sidekick, I think, to to play those clips. I don't know if it it uh, if it favors featured clips or not. So maybe it does. I should go look and see the settings on that and see if it does that. Yeah, bake five different types of cookies on Monday. Mm. Definitely, Neil's <clears throat> Neil is the cookie monster. He's we always have to have. Yeah, exactly. At least the dog enjoyed it. Um, we always have to have cookies in the house. Is that right, Neil? We always have to have cookies in the house. Yes. <laughs> now I was telling him about how uh, my sister informed us that the the dogs ate half the cookies that that you baked for for her, basically. Yes, the ones. <laughs> That were gluten free that I especially made for. Oh, her. that's right. He specially. Oh, that's right, because she, she's. I guess would that be? I don't think. She, I don't think she's sell gluten intolerant. Gl gluten intolerant. That's what it would be. So, <laughs> well, thanks again, everyone, for the raids, and uh, we were just in the middle of a battle, and I think we have to go. There's like a. Oh my goodness, there's so many monsters. I think this this is what y'all were saying about this this uh uh this dungeon is annoying. Yeah. Fancy science and not yeah. Yeah, Neil uh, just picked up a, a just a, a gluten-free recipe, uh, and they tasted great. We ate them, and they were great. You really couldn't tell the difference, really. They were the. Uh, they didn't. They didn't look like they were more spread out. They, they looked so the the gluten-free. So I made peanut butter cookies. Yeah. Uh, everybody got peanut butter cookies this year because I had a lot of peanut butter. Uh, I mean, how to make your decision? That's how you make it. <laughs> uh, what do I have plenty of? So, uh, my, my sister and his parents got ones that I made with my mother's recipe. And his sister got ones that I used in America's Test Kitchen gluten-free recipe. Um, and they tasted fine. Uh, texture was not quite the same and they looked like sugar cookies that were peanut butter yeah yeah now yeah, they taste like great. the way they wrinkled on top and yeah yeah if you were just to look at the cookie it would look like a sugar cookie but you know it takes some sort of esoteric ingredients uh you have to let them sit around for a while or they'll uh, they won't perform correctly. But they won't kind of solidify together or something. So the 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 the, the gluten-free flour uh, products um, don't absorb liquid as quickly. I didn't want to use up Foo's PP. Oh, good. Well, his PP went up by one. Here. A broken spray can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had that in another person part of this. It's not the item. Okay. A defensive spray. Okay. Basically trash. <laughs> In this case, it used... 
So the gluten-free cookies always seem to have you melt the butter. Whereas, like a standard cookie recipe, you'd want it to be just softened butter. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do they have, like, and you, and a do lot they of put something in, like, substitute? Like, what is... Uh... Like, what are they using to, to kind of bind it? To substitute what? Uh, you generally put more, uh, more egg in it. Oh, okay. Um, and... You have to use... Usually xanthan gum. Yeah, yeah. Now, some of the flowers call, you know, already have that added to them, but I usually put it in anyway. And you don't use very much, but you should not breathe the powder because it can gum up your lung. Really? Yeah. Get rid of the ghost. Come on. There were two trash cans. Yeah. You have to root. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I see. I was like, what? Healing Delta. Oh, okay. 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 I'm pretty sure I don't have Heal Delta yet. Um... Oh boy, there's a new rapidly spreading COVID variant. Yeah, yeah, you hadn't heard about that yet? No. Poltergeist 3000. <laughs> I hate that I'm using up all my stuff. Oh, can he? Okay. I didn't realize the bottles, the water bottles, restore PP. Didn't even see it there. I don't have it yet. I have life up, but I don't have... That's right, I forgot about brain food.
ghost is so annoying. There we go. This is what you talked about earlier. Actually, you know, we could uh, look at status. Okay. Okay. So Neil needs some hit points. So does Pooh. Pooh is possessed. I did it again. I get confused. I, life up, healing. <laughs> well, obviously, when I wrote Fry's Quest, it talks about healing. So, see, I it should be called cure. Cure gets rid of status status uh, things, and healing should be hit points. That was close. <laughs> All right, how close are we now? Okay, we still need one more for J Fry and Paula. Who is is healed? So Paula. How much does that, the butterfly only does like 20, right? So we're gonna do this like three times. Oh yeah, 20. Oh, that would have been a good time because there's no monsters there. <laughs> Did I miscalculate? Did I miss add? I did. Here, let's while we're in here. One more. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I know. It, it, it's got to know this is what people will do, right? Why can't it just go and we're just going to heal you completely? Why, just heal everything. Make it an inn and a butterfly. We're all super relaxed. All right, I think we're all maxed out now. All right. Of course. Of course. Of course they're there this time. Oh, I should attack. Should have had Neil attack the, the mouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay.
finally. Ooh, leveling up fast. Rust Promoter DX. I don't want to use the bottle rocket. <laughs> yeah, the UFOs. Yeah. I tried to use them on the, the smiling sphere, and they totally did not work on the smiling sphere. Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't notice. Who was in trouble? Heal him. <laughs> I guess I didn't realize Pooh's hit points had gotten up so high. That should kill it. Don't poison me. Ah, uh, boo! <laughs> All right, have a good one, soggy envelopes. Thanks again for the raid. Why didn't Pooh's... Why didn't Pooh... heal Paula? Alright, 
hit points went up by a lot. Okay. in here a broken bazooka hmm interesting Neil takes it Bazooka in the trash. Well, it's a broken bazooka, so it has to be fixed. Ah. Whose trash is this? It's a good question. Back in. You know, I could really use an es oh, there it is. I was gonna say I could really use an escape mouse. is what we needed okay so oh you know what's gonna heal us of this ghost is if we beat this boss because uh, it always seems to heal you after you, if you beat him okay so let's you mentioned uh, his bottle of water he's got two of them gave him 10. I wanted more. I wanted more than 10. I mean, he has brain food. I don't think he needs that. All right. So where's his other bottle of water? Yeah, I expected 50. That's what I expected. I expected more. All right, let's look at this again. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. Okay, let's um. No. A oh, fucking a. I did it again. Oh, okay. Alright, here we go. You finally got here. This is your fifth, your sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Da 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 da. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Plague Rat of Doom. I love it. I love it. Uh, let's let's delta freeze it, and Neil can use the big the super bomb, and Pooh can also delta freeze it. <laughs> it does give you Ren and Stimpy vibes. It's going well, Flaming Baguette. Ooh. We're 
we're gonna we're gonna use another this is why I kept these bottle rockets. <laughs> okay, we can't we can't do delta, but we can do beta. Oh no, Paula! Oh, but she came out of it. Oh poo poo. gonna attack and oh shit he probably doesn't have enough to heal it yeah, shit heal poo and then Paula the freeze Neil has another rocket oh no 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 big bottle rocket and then Poo, what do you have? We got small freeze. Why don't we do by magnet? Oh fuck! Oh one to damage. Okay. And you get to level up, and you get to level up. <laughs> Thanks, Living Square. All right, I want to see what this is. What do we? What's the next thing? Oh shit! Someone's poisoned. Oh, who's poisoned? I thought I. Oh, I guess it didn't get to. Um, it didn't get to play. What is this? Jay Fry saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Jay Fry's soundstone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. All right. And as I always love to do, I love to play the music. it's getting more more to it this whoa there's a carrot key inside oh that was the key yeah that was the key the guy in the other place was telling me about oh do I have to go back through that did it heal me it healed me though oh thank goodness <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to hear the whole thing. Yeah. So it, it did heal me and the ghost is gone. So that's good. I'm not looking forward to having to go back. A carrot key would be appropriate. Oh, will they run away now? I know there was a giant, um, there was a giant eraser. Oh, but they're still going to attack me because there was two of them. Well, there was three of them. giant bunny who lost her legs. I thought I remember. Carrot key. Where would a carrot key be needed? Oh, 
I like cotton candy. That's the best hint you can think of without giving it away. Okay. Oh, with, did it, was that healing Delta finally? Or was that who, who got it? Who got healing Delta? Okay, well that's good. This cure is being, uh, Diamond eye, di diamond eyes and paralysis. It also revives a friend who has become unconscious, though HP is not maxed out. Okay. Have the PP for it. Oh, was it was it high PP? Do you got PP? Yeah, you know me. That's pretty high. Oh shit. I know it was pretty bad. I apologize for how bad that was. Yeah. I was thinking, could I have teleported out of here? Well, out of the, when I was up above. Oh, okay. Well, like you said, the, they seem to be running away from me, so not so bad. the ladder carrot key definitely think about that. Hmm, is there another hint? RK Bear, what, what's another hint without giving it away that you could give? And I know, Chase, you did the, the other one. Wait, fuzzy pickles. Sorry. Fuzzy pickles. <laughs> Either one of y'all. I don't remember anything about cotton candy. Rabbits are a foreign creature. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. I know exactly where to go. I know exactly where to go. And that's it. I know, that's it. I know it. <laughs> I know exactly where to go. Yep. 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 I got it. I already got it, Chaizu. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I remember. I remember the the chocolate bunnies. I remember making a comment about the chocolate bunnies now. I didn't mean to talk to you. Oh, you know what? He didn't... Uh... Neil didn't work on his bazooka. Yeah, I know. Why didn't you work on your bazooka? I'm so sorry. I didn't work on my bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> no, no. I was just saying, I got it, I got it, I got it. I can tell you where to get bazooka bubble gum. Yep. He needs, oh, he needs 45. I'll have to look and see after this, but we were gonna, I was gonna have us play some prize quest. Actually, we're almost out. I have to, I have to wrap up the stream early. So let's, we're gonna skip the prize quest and we're just gonna play for another 15 minutes. And then, uh, Oh, I was going to look up what Neil's IQ is. It's 38. My IQ is zero. <laughs> it's not zero. I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> You're not. My idiot is complete. Strange, the rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. What is this? Oh, it's it's a battle. A thundermite. Thundermite! 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 Go! Uh, how about we freeze it? We're just gonna bash. Who's gonna bash it? There we go. <laughs> Use Pikachu. Pika. So frightening. <laughs> well, we killed it, so. The Franklin badge pays off once again.
This is a giant pair of lips. <laughs> it's the kiss of death. <laughs> the kiss of death. How awesome. Uh. In there, you're like, you won't be laughing for very long. <laughs> It didn't attack, so we won't know if it really just kills you. Guess we're going this way. Got an opening surprise attack. See if his IQ, his IQ went up by one. Right, there's a giant hole. Oh shit. One thing I do like is if you attack one thing and it dies, you don't waste your attack, it actually moves to the other. That's that's nice, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I've done that before. Can I go that way? No. And we shimmy back down. Oh, we left. Guess the right path, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, definitely the older ones. I was trying to think of what did Final Fantasy do. I don't remember it doing that. This is where we were. Oh, this guy. He, this is what you were saying. Conducting menace. be the feed them. Does anyone kneel? Okay. I think I does this healing work? Oh, okay, so it's uh Oh no, two of them. Wait. Is that 18? That was close. Nothing's here. The Bracer of Kings. Right. I would assume whose arms helps protect from being hypnotized and luck goes up. Of course, defense also goes. Up. Of course. I assume that's what I was trying to get here, right? Was that it, or is there more? Yeah. Oh, there is more? Oh, okay. Oh, this is the sixth century, okay. I got healing delta now. 
Come on, why can't I just instant kill this thing? <laughs> My my PP is very. I feel like I should go. Well, we're kind of out of time, but we'll we'll do it real quick. I feel like I'm not prepared. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, the exit was right there. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is, because I do need to ra uh, wrap up the stream early. I think what we're going to do is heal up and come back. And we'll come back on Friday. But I feel like we made a lot of progress today. Oh, crap. I tried to turn at the last second. Come on, it didn't even give me a chance. Well, now we really have to leave. <laughs> oh, can I actually revive her or is it too late? Oh no, Snowy, the ice fair, we gotta, I'm sorry, we can't do that right now. I'm trying to wrap up the stream. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there not a hospital on this island? I will, I will, uh, I'm going to refund your, your, your tokens. Uh. There, I sent you the tokens back. So we can do it next time, all right? And sleep for free. Why spend money? Use PP and sleep for free. Yeah. You don't need to find a hospital. Oh, you were waiting for the cooldown? I'm sorry. So I can, I can just do like healing. Oh, okay. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, why couldn't I? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. And I go up to Pooh's house and sleep there. And then, oh yeah, and then there's the guy with the phone-shaped hair that allows you to call dad and save. Fuzzy Pickles guy. Fuzzy Pickles! I like how... <laughs> No, it should have refunded it back to you. Snowy the Ice Bear. You should have... I don't know if you have to hit refresh or something like that. Hmm. I hit reject. Oh my god. Do you know Arcade Bear how that how that works? When I reject uh
Oh, I think he just healed us all. He did. He must have a lot. Should be any well. I'll we'll just do one next time. <laughs> How that sounds, Snowy the Ice Bear. And what do you need to Yeah. Yeah, if if not, we'll 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 test it next time we're here. Yeah. And right. <laughs> we'll just check it out next time and see what happens. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, Snowy the Ice Bear, for being here. And thank you, Arcade Bear, for helping me out. Um, Y'all should... Uh, I noticed that the Arcade Bear is streaming again. And y'all should go check out Arcade Bear. He was playing Dave the Diver recently. Are you <laughs> and Kai is asleep. <laughs> yeah, I hope everything's been going well with you, RK Bear. Hope the relationship's going good and settling into your new place and everything. Going Thanks again, Identifier as happy as for the for the raid. You mean going well. Did I say going good? Yeah. Going well. Maybe he's doing good. Maybe he's feeding the homeless. Maybe. Bring me again. All right. And let's see. What else? I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. I'll be back on Friday. It'll be Friday. And for me, the Friday before I take two weeks off. He's understanding of your Twitch stream. So that's good. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I mean, Neil has no desire to, to stream. So. Right, let's go. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> You're off for Christmas. Yeah, nice. Nice. Yeah, I. I should be streaming. Well, I probably won't be. It's possible I won't be streaming on the 27th. Because that's when we're going to have our Christmas. But, um. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. But, for the most part, uh, we're not going anywhere this year. Should be streaming if I'm not doing anything. Yeah, well, it's because of family and stuff. Yeah, it's not. It's not anything. Yeah, it's just because of that. So I may be streaming on actual Christmas. I would assume there might be there might be not many people streaming on Christmas. So. <laughs> It is. There is a Snorlax back there. It does. You know, they're all kind of mushed, but yeah, you can kind of see the Snorlax right there. And then there is. Oh, I can't name all of them. It's fun. Yeah. I, well, so maybe we'll maybe we'll get some new viewers. I'm always looking for new viewers. Thanks. Thanks for all the follows and the raids. By by the way, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, coming by and joining. And thanks for the raids. Um, like I say, I always thank all my subscribers right here, but, you know, coming and hanging out is more important to me than subscribing. So, those subscribers do get all these emotes and ad free viewing and stuff like that. Thanks, Jedi Master Grogu. Good seeing you here. I hope you've been doing well. <laughs> yeah, I really do. I thank you all the time. Thank you for being here. Um, like I said, my goal is more of viewership, not really subscribers, but please subscribe. I, I, I definitely appreciate it. It does help subsidize buying games and stuff like that. So I do definitely appreciate it, but it's not required. Um, I guess that's it. There's our raid messages. I'm really enjoying Earthbound. Thank you all for voting for it. Uh, it, it is really a fun game. I'm surprised. I do, like I said this earlier, I feel bad. I feel like I'm like the only person who's never played this game. Um, but it, it has been really fun. It's like in on a secret club, almost.
that secret club who's played the game, right? <laughs> Oh, you haven't played at Lumen Square? Yeah, exactly. One of us. <laughs> right. Let's see who's on. Who else is on? Hmm. Can't do that one. I haven't played that game yet. It, it was, uh. Yeah, let's go over to Matt Big Fat. He's playing, uh, Super Mario RPG. I was gonna say it was, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Can't raid someone playing Kingdom Hearts 3. I do not want to uh, get spoiled. <laughs> oh, let me check and make sure he's... Yeah, he's still gone. That Big Fat has raided me several times, and I don't... I have, I, I know I've at least raided him once, but I, I need to repay the... I think, you know, need to repay the, the favors. <laughs> Which one? Oh, uh, OST is amazing. Oh, look at us. Which one's OST? <laughs> no, I've got to go back and look up. Original soundtrack. Oh, okay, okay. I love Kingdom Hearts 3 for Earthbound. The yeah, Earthbound music has been great. Has been great. It's it. I, I think I think the uh, was it the Runaway Five or or hilarious I, I this game is just so hilarious so all right thank you everyone for being here i hope you have a great week see you on friday love you all bye have good music oh i totally agree totally agree <laughs> all right have a good one bye